Oh. Oh, it did hit it. <laughs> Action! Is, is it going? It's going, we're going to wait. Oh, yep, yeah. uh, there we go. Morning. Good morning, look how crazy it is. Do you know, we I'll had see. we had rain, it was absolutely bouncing it down. So is here. Got some sun. Yay! I've got my sunglasses on today, I can't see. So is here. Can't see. Just fix my collar. Okay, so anyway, today, what we're going to talk about is... Think like a boss. Thinking like a boss. So, this were a blog post um, article that I wrote for LinkedIn. Thinking like a boss. Are you thinking like a boss? And it's a good little way to keep yourself on your toes. You know, get yourself the, in, in, into the mindset that... What would the boss do? What would the boss do? And you are the boss, you know? You are the boss of everything. You're the boss of your life. You're the boss of your career. You're the boss of all the decisions. But sometimes we forget this and we find ourselves just waiting to react to things. Just things. So we'll wait for situations to arise, then we'll react to it. We'll wait for someone to tell us what to do, then we'll react to it. I was about to say then, is it that or is it waiting for someone to tell you what to do? Which if you're self-employed, on your own, if There's you're no a one telling you that. <laughs> you'd be waiting a long time. Totally, totally. And this is so true, you know, and it's it's something that's very difficult to do, especially when you go out there on your own. And you maybe it's your first time you're on your own, you know, you, maybe this is your first start up. Maybe you're someone that's tried a few different things and, and, and now you're a more mature start up. Um, maybe you're just somebody that's, that's working for somebody else, but ultimately it comes down to that you are the boss. And I suppose if we had to peel away some of the layers, what it really means is that you need to start using your initiative. Mm. Do you know, are you a boss? Think like a boss. Do everything. What would a boss do? And maybe maybe put somebody up on a pedestal a little bit. Do you know, put one of you an idol there, and and put an idol up on this pedestal that you can look at a hero if you like. And yeah. So for example, I'll give you an example. Ow. Okay, that's not the example. Um, if you're a fan of Apple products, put Steve Jobs there, and what would, what would Steve do? Yeah, what totally. What Steve do? He's a boss. What would he do? And 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 find somebody what's what you really had like admiring all these different industries or sectors that you want to work in. So if you're in sales, find somebody who you admire in sales and and think right, what would they do? What would they do in that situation? If you admire someone who was a business leader, or uh, someone that develops product or software or you know whatever it is like that who is the person that you like really kind of admire and then and then think like a boss think like them you know put yourself in their shoes what would they do in that situation and it's maybe going into a bit of stalker mode isn't it like follow everything they do oh unbelievably um, so like social wise and stuff and read everything they've ever written definitely yeah. everything they've ever read yeah so if they do a blog post and they say that they've read a certain book and read it. Yep. Yep. I remember seeing an interview with um, Bob Proctor, who's one of my biggest mentors. You know, he's amazing. I've learned so much from Bob. And, and, and I did just this, you know. You need to, if you find somebody that you resonate with and you find something that you like about them, study them. Do you know, find it. Do you know, as Sarah said, turn into almost like a stalker and, and read everything that they did. And I remember seeing an interview with Bob and I, and, and he were talking about that. When he first started, he, he, he set up a, a cleaning business and it grew ridiculously fast and he'd, he'd got businesses operating all over all over Canada. Um, but he wanted to understand more about why he was successful because he shouldn't have been successful. You know, he, he, he was flawed in many ways. And he went to work for a sales training company or, or a, a coaching company through like Earl Nightingale or somewhere like that. And he says that's exactly what he did. You know, if he ordered a book, he ordered one. If he had a meeting with someone, he went and introduced himself to him. And and he just became obsessed and stoked this other guy's lifestyle. You know, he wanted to know what he did, where he went, how he did it, what he read, what he listened to, what he watched, what he, you know, he just did everything. And this is the thing, if you can find somebody like that, why would you not want to just explore every avenue, you know, research them, find out about them, find out what it is that makes them tick, find out what it is that, that that makes them push harder and what keeps them motivated and what keeps them driving. Find out what they read, what they watch, what they listen to and, and just become obsessed with that person for a short period of time to find out exactly what it is that gets them going because if you like it and it reaches out to you and it works for you, 
then just find a way to do more of that. Find a way to get into that and find, find out what their secret ingredient is. Because everyone's got one. Yeah. And put them like a boss. Put them, do you know, put them on that bit of a pedestal and do a bit of hero worshipping. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, and, and, you know, have them as your 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 mentor. Do you know, you don't have to speak to them for them to be a mentor to you. And if you read the stuff, you listen to them, you watch them, you do all that kind of stuff, they're mentoring you. And it, just because you're not speaking to them directly doesn't mean that they're not your mentor. Because think back, when you were in school, everyone remembers their favourite teacher. And 99% of the time, that's the lesson that you were best at. Because yeah. you hero worshipped effectively that teacher. Same with every job you've ever had. If you've got a good boss, then... You remember them. You remember them, and also, you work your damnedest to please them, don't you? Yeah. You go out of your way, you'll come in early, you'll stay late, you'll do anything. It's like a little puppy. Yeah. get a little reward <laughs> sort of thing. Definitely, definitely so. I'm wearing glasses today, look. You've already said that. I know, I just thought I'd say it again. Okay. I've got an impulse to say it. Okay. But, but this is so true, do you know, it, it works like this. And so get yourself into that mindset, think like a boss. Think like a boss, think like a boss. And tell yourself it all the time, you know, what would my boss do? What would I do? Think like a boss, what would they do? And then once you've got them there on that, that, that pedestal and that, that space, what's occupying and, 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 and taking your thought, what you want to do then is just work so hard, you know, work so hard. And I hear this saying, and everyone's probably heard this saying, it's, it's about working smarter, not harder. Mm-hmm. Why not just do both? Do you know, why not work smart and work hard? So if everyone else is out there just working smarter and you're working smarter and harder, you're going to get there quicker. So work smarter and harder and then get to a stage where these idols become your rivals. Think about that for a second. Think about that for a second. Your rival, sorry, your idol becomes your rival. Imagine being the next Steve Jobs. Imagine being the next um, Mark Zuckerberg. Or the next... Larry Page, do you know, are you in the next Google? Are you the next big thing? But you need some help to get there. What help? Wow! What help? What do I? What help? I thought you said wow. I thought you went wow. No, I said what help. What do you mean what help? You said you need some help to get there, what help? What, what thinking like a boss? Mm. <laughs> what do you mean? So if they need any help to do this, what do they need to do? Read more, study more, learn more, get a coach. I was thinking more. Get a coach. Your website. Well, then just drop, drop it in then. And don't, don't wait for direction. Do you know what I mean? Think like Ooh, a boss. Lights have changed. Think like a boss. <laughs> Think like a boss. So go to johncovey.com. Yeah, do you know, I mean, look, look, look at the stuff that, that I put out there, do you know? see what resonates with you is it the mindset stuff is it the sales stuff is it the motivation stuff do you know all these different things make a difference i was um on, on facebook yesterday do you know there's a there's, a, there's a, a fantastic guy i work with he's been working with the coaches as well and he's don't get me wrong he's had some he's had some good success and he's he's got a, a system in place and you know as a business now he's set up to run but he, he didn't have the motivation do you know the, the, the people he's working with don't motivate him they help him stay on on, on, on on point, but they don't motivate him. So I've been working with him for three months. He's smashing it because I give him the motivation that he needs. You know, I give him the focus, the, de- the dedication, the, the real valuable goals that he really needs to work on. And I, and I give him the motivation. You know, I, I'm not giving him the structures. I'm giving him the motivation to smash it. Now his pipeline's fat. He's got stuff, he's got business coming in, he's got money coming in. He's loving it. And, and this is the thing, you know, we, we all need different people in his life. We need people that's going to keep us on point. We need people that's going to motivate us and drive us forward. We need people that's going to hold us on when times are tough. We need all this stuff, you know, surround yourself with these people. Build them power teams because you need them. You need them. You can't do this on your own. No matter how good you are, no matter how ambitious and focused you are, you can't do it on your own. You need help from other people. So, you know, just reach out to people, find people, but make sure that you get your, your, your boss syndrome in place. Boss syndrome. Your like boss it. syndrome. Do you know, like get your get your get your hero up there. Get them worshiping them. Do you know, l- listen to the stuff that you're doing. Maybe that's me. Maybe it's somebody else. Go to my site, johncorby.com. 
loads of stuff on there there's resources on there there's go cards and ebooks and programs and all these videos and things so do you know go out there go and do it johncovey.com final thought final thought just do it just do it you know do it don't think i'll do it tomorrow don't think oh ah that's a good idea oh ah in the Yorkshire accent oh ah uh, don't think it's just a good idea that sounds great that you know let's let's, let's look at this at weekend do it now do it now yeah, if it's important to you, you'll find the time. My final thought is uh, understand what it is you need. Um, what what is it you are looking for? What's the missing ingredients in what you're doing? Hello. And then find a way of finding how to get that. That's good. Ish. Boom. <laughs> Bye. See you later, guys. <laughs>